This one was a fun little project. It's 240 square foot of plywood in a shed in the backyard of one of the houses here in the neighborhood. It's a uh, floor that isn't as structurally sound as I would have hoped, but it's really a matter of trying out the different equipment, the products, cure times, and getting a feel for what it's like to work with each of the individual components and then obviously building a final system. What's here now is a floor that's been sanded with the Eddy sander with a 40 grit sandpaper on it. The idea was to clean up the top of the plywood as well as to make it absorbent to remove some of the surface dirt that was on there and where possible to try to reduce some of the elevation inequalities that are present in the floor. As can be seen in the final result, the elevation inequalities are still there to some extent. Uh, belt sander or maybe a hardwood sander would have been a better choice because the amount of wood stock that would have had to come down is probably in excess of a quarter of an inch. But for the sake of testing out the Eddy sander with the 40 grit paper, it worked out well enough. The floor was then cleaned up by vacuum. The vacuum wand worked well enough to pick up all the sanding dust that was on the floor and was then clean enough to go ahead and try out the water-based epoxy as the primer. Water-based epoxy primer is just a two component product that's easy enough to mix with a cordless drill and then apply straight away just dip and roll method. The whole idea of the epoxy primer is just to serve as a way to lock down that thirsty absorbent surface and then of course provide a site that the next layer can attach to. The next product that was used is a urethane resurfacer. The product is made for going over surfaces such as wood, over steel, over concrete but it's a material that when poured thick enough has some structural integrity to it so that when the, the base, let's say, is not as stable as it should be, it's able to some extent to shore that up and then bear traffic. This material here going over a floor that was not structurally sound was poured at 50 mils, which is about 35 feet per gallon. So pretty thick when compared to, let's say, traditional thin mill systems, which are usually overall only about 25 mils. The material goes down this thick though because the base is not stable and the idea of using it is that it can bridge the the voids and the seams without cracking the material is being applied by a magic trowel it could be applied by a squeegee whatever method is chosen it's important to keep in mind that this material is thick it's more like a cold maple syrup as opposed to most epoxies or polyaspartics the material is quite a bit thicker once it's spread out by squeegee, a loop roller was used to smooth it out, release some of the surface tension bubbles that might have formed in it, as well as to push it up to the edges. Chip brush roller on the edges just to get up to the perimeter of the, the floor. Once that's done, then it's just a traditional broadcast of vinyl flake. There's really not much different about the broadcasting of the vinyl chip. It's broadcasted into just as it would be if it was going into an epoxy or a polyaspartic. Once the floor is cured, in this case the next day, the excess chip is scraped off, the sharp edges are broken down, and it's vacuumed. Again, it's very much like any conventional chip floor. Once all the loose material has been vacuumed up, a long working time polyaspartic has been used to top coat it. The goal was to test the polyaspartic as a single coat application. It was put down at 16 mils, which is about 100 feet per gallon. The idea is to see if it's able to be grouted as well as sealed in one shot. It appears that it worked out pretty well. The humidity and the heat didn't lead to any bubble issues or any, any kind of foaming. Overall, it looks pretty good. It looks like uh, the material is, has gone down and it should harden out pretty much to a glass-like reflection, obviously on top of the flake, but it looks like the single hit, the single coat is going to do the trick. Thanks for watching. Any questions, please don't hesitate to drop them below. And if you like what you watch, please drop us a like below too. Thanks again.